Hey guys, I'm Matt Asplund and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today's video is going to be a nice, quick, easy one, but it's just adapting onto a different video I've made, which is how to make a double jump, but today it's how to make a double jump with a secondary animation that will play for your second jump, because before there was no animation, you just did the jump. Today we're going to go over adding in another animation and this is really easy. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So if I were to hit space, we can jump. But after I do that, if I hit it again, you can see we can double jump with another animation. Now the animation might not look great, it's just a free one I've got off of Mixmo. However, you can see we are playing a second animation perfectly like so, and this is incredibly easy to do. I'm gonna go over today how you can do this, and you can see you can change it for your own animations. And also you can do this through as many jumps as you want. So if you want three jumps, you can have three animations, and you can even have them all be different as well. So this is what I'm going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how we've made it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our character blueprint. So for me that's going to be control space, third person, blueprints, BP third person character and in here we want to select BP third person character self in the top left and then in the top right we want to search for max jump count and you can see here we have it set to one, let's set it to two and now we have a double jump. If you set it to three, you can jump three times, and so on and so forth. But today, I just want a double jump. So we'll compile, save that, and then find your jump input code that we have here. Once you've got this, what we're going to do is come from triggered, move this one out and just disconnect it. And then out of triggered, we're going to get a switch on int. We're going to get this in here, and we're going to add in two pins, or as many pins as you have jumps. So again, I've got a double jump, so I've got two pins. The selection for this is going to be get current jump count, or sorry, get jump current count, like so. Zero is going to go into jump, and one is going to go into jump again, but after this jump, we're going to play anim montage. And this montage is just going to be the animation you want. So for me, you can see in my content browser, I have this double jump animation, which is just another jump, but it's for my double. And if you right click that, you can go to create and create an montage and you'll get this double jump montage here and just put this into your play and a montage and this is now going to work perfectly so we just tidy this up a little bit like so perfect and now what's going to happen is if i compile and save this you can see when we jump the first time the jump current count is going to be zero so it's going to then jump that's then set the current count to one so then if we jump again it's going to go through one and it's going to jump and then play the anim montage and then nothing will happen after that because obviously we can only jump twice but if you set it for three times it will then go to two so zero one two and then it'll go off the other pin so again this is incredibly easy to customize you can add in as many jumps as you want change the animation to whatever you want and this is all we need to do but sorry one thing i've just noted before we test this out is we don't want to come out of triggered if we open this up we want to come out of started like so now let me organize this a bit more again perfectly like so now that we fixed it, it's on started instead of triggered, what we're gonna do is minimize this and hit play. And we can see that if I were to run and I can jump, we can jump once. And if I jump and jump again, we're double jumping with this new animation as well. So this is working perfectly for us. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. What we've gone over is A, how to set up a double jump, and then B, how to add in a second animation into this double jump as well and again this animation might not look great it's just a quick free one i got off of mixamo you can customize this to whatever animation you want and as many jumps you want as well so thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful and if you did please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and the channel a lot so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one